Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. Thanks for tuning into my video. Now this is a follow-up video from a repair we did two years ago. I made this video right here about a year ago. We did the repair about two years ago. And I got a lot of really good comments on it um, about how we did it, what we did, how it came out and all that. And then I got a lot of, a lot of really, uh, let's just say negative comments on it about how we did. So, and there were a lot of, a lot of people asking about the follow-up, how it lasted. We live in Maine, so we get a lot of freeze and thaw cycles. So, I mean, I understand people being skeptics. This is what we do. We repair a lot of concrete. I mean, if you like that kind of stuff, please go ahead down there and hit subscribe. But we, we know what we're doing. We know the products to use. We've used a lot of different manufacturers' products. And we know that we can do, we can fix and repair something like this a heck of a lot less expensive than we can jackhammer it out, demo it out, haul it away, form it all up, re-pour it new concrete. I can repair this for less than half of, re of doing this brand new again. And I know it's going to last because we've done it over and over again. I mean, I've been doing this for 40 years, so... When I tell a customer I can save them a lot of money and give them a really good repair job, then I, that's, I know what I'm doing. So this, I'm just going to give you a little follow-up of what we did here. We, we came in here, this thing was spalled quite bad, it had some cracks in it, and the homeowner's got a pool deck here that we're going to eventually resurface the pool deck to. That, that video will be coming up, so if you want to see that, make sure you hit subscribe. She knew that she was going to resurface everything and make it all look like brand new. But this was all she had in the budget for this year. So she didn't have enough money to replace it. And she just wanted it to look better. This piece was obviously done a long, long time ago. I don't even know, probably 30 or 40 years ago. And it was beginning to be a trip hazard. And obviously you couldn't keep it clean. You can see how bad that area was right there. So... We came in and we said, well, we can just, we can fix it. We can fix it, then we can resurface it with our resurfacing product, and then we can seal it and coat it and waterproof it so the water won't get back into it and damage it again. And you'll see how it comes out at the end of the video. Um, so this was the process that Luke and I went through, you know, grinding it, prepping it, patching it, and then we're going to be resurfacing it here in a minute. And then we'll put a, you know, we'll put a light boom finish on it for some texture. And then we're going to coat it with our waterproofing coating. And I use that waterproofing coating on, you know, pool decks, patios, anything with foot traffic. I don't use that waterproofing coating on stuff like a driveway where you're going to drive over it. But it holds up really good. I've had it on a basketball court now for like eight years. So you'll see what that's going to look like in a minute. So we're getting through the patch, and that's what the patch looked like when we were done. So all the spalls were fixed, all the little pop-outs, the chips, the divots, the cracks, they were all fixed. And now we're going to just do some resurfacing. So we're going to put a thin coat of, uh, of our overlay mix on here, and then we'll give it a texture with the boom. And in the, in the original video I show you and I tell you about all this stuff that we're using so I'll have a link for that at the end of this video if you want to check that out and just see about you know, the types of products we use I go way more in depth on how to fix something like this so if you did have some type of concrete that you need to be uh, repaired and you want it to look something like this that would be the video to watch but this video is going to tell you just how it how it held up after two years in two winters you know we have winter here in maine from around thanksgiving until about the first of april so we have three and a half months or so of really cold hard weather so we're just putting the broom on it just to give it a little texture i mean when you when you trowel on an overlay mix like this it's hard to get it to look really good the trial kind of chatters just a little bit because of the tiny bits of aggregate that's in the overlay mix. So you drag that broom right over it and it gives it a nice even looking broom texture, which is probably what the sidewalk had originally anyway. So I'm going to finish that little piece up there and Luke's going to get the broom on it. And then 
So this is the overlay with the room texture. So we'll let this set up. This sets up in about a day. And then we come back and we'll give it our, this is our concrete waterproofing sealer right here. And I have other video, I'll have a video in the, in the, I'll have the video link down in the description about what this stuff is too. So you can check those videos out. But this stuff, you know, we dip and roll this on and we always put two coats of this on and it, it seals the surface right off. It doesn't let water penetrate down into the concrete after this. So the water's going to shed off. And there's a grit you can put in with it too. So it's, it's anti-slip. Uh, like I said, I got it on, I actually got it on my own basketball court. It's been on there for seven years. So we play out there when it's raining. Um, and it's, it gives it a lot of really good texture. Here I am putting the second coat on. So that's basically it. Now make sure you hang out for a little bit longer. I'm going to show you the follow-up right here. The two-year follow-up's coming right up. And then we're going to have a little fun with some of the comments at the end of the video too. So hang out for that and check them out. Hey guys, Mike here. So we're on a job we did about two years ago, and it was a walkway, it was a repair job. And I repaired it rather than rip it out and redo it. And I just wanna show you guys two year update what this looks like. So here's the walk. Looks beautiful still. It's got a little tiny discoloration right here, but that's, I mean, it's two years old, but everything's still intact, solid. And it looks really, really nice. So there's your two-year update on how that patch repair worked. This was all like deteriorating. We patched all this, cut those joints back in where they were, and it's still holding up really, really good. So it was definitely worth the money just to do the patch rather than rip it all out. Now we're here to, we're going to resurface the pool deck with the same same product we used to resurface this with to color it. So we're going to get this prepped today. It's raining right now, but that's okay. We're going to pressure wash it, clean it get all the mold and mildew off it and then we're going to use the same resurfacing product that we use on the walkway so that's it guys that stuff really works the process we use really worked to re to repair that and two years later still holding up like the day we did it hey guys now let's have some fun with some of the comments on the original video i made of the naysayers and the pessimists and some of the people who really don't think I know what I'm doing. Like Stashu Walter here. He says, make sure to make a video of how you had to repair your repair because I guarantee it, customer won't be happy after a year. Well, Stashu, sorry to tell you, you're wrong. Because as you can see in this video, everything came out really nice. And this one from H. Luflip. He was spot on, man. That's amateur work, he said. Sorry, but you have no clue what you're doing, and you can tell by watching this video. Good luck with the complaints and the repairs. Boy, he was spot on, wasn't he? And check this one out from Scott, a fellow concrete dude like me. He goes, all you're doing is wasting their time and money. You know skim coating that concrete's not gonna hold or last. Tell the customer you can remove and replace those two pieces. It's extremely inexpensive and much better for what she wants to accomplish. Stop ripping people off. That job to cut, remove, and replace that concrete and refinish it would only take a couple of hours. Stop ripping people off. You give masons like me a bad name. Sorry, Scott. It isn't a lot more inexpensive. In Roboco 302, now he's a pro. Listen to his comment. He says, you'll be very lucky to get a year. It looks perfect and then cracks and goes back to the way it was. There's so much scam money made in this business. Now I'm scamming people, I guess. I've been scamming people for 40 years. Sorry, Robico. Proof's in the video. Now, Tilestone Pro says, can we see a picture of this repair six months later? Well, I gave it to you two years later. He goes, I believe it's all cracked by now. Mm, sorry to disappoint. I guess I didn't convince Scotty Scotty either. He goes, job security. Do your overlays with a mortar mix so you can come back next year and do it again. The DIYers that buy into this crap. Eh, sorry Scotty Scotty. I think it came out pretty good. Now this one was pretty interesting by RJL. I had to read it a couple times actually. He goes, 
When the earth ground moves, this repair will crack easily. I, earth ground, I never heard of that. This is called temporary aesthetic pleasing look. Repair means fixed. This is not it. Water of money, in my opinion. Uh, he probably meant waste. One circle of season will break this. Uh, one circle, okay. Thanks, RLJ. Just a couple more, I promise. Dr. Love goes, wow, that will last for one winter. It did. You're right, Dr. Love. You're absolutely right. And then Mike's like, what a waste of time and money and manpower. You're like the Earl Scheib of concrete. Oh, cool. Thanks, Mike. John Lennon. Let's see a follow-up. Well, this is the follow-up, John. This was just for you. Now, this one was really cool here. This will be the last one. Craig Bruce. Mike. I can't thank you enough. My walkway was similar to the one in the video, so I went to Home Depot here in Canada and bought the materials you use and did everything you said in the video. I'm blown away. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much. That's exactly why I made the video, guys, for guys like Craig Bruce, people like you who want to learn how to do this and save some money. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.